Three, two, one. Three, two, one, live. All right, we're live on Facebook. Hey, what's up, Facebook? What's over here with this camera, hippie? Facebook. Facebook too. Facebook also. Okay. Group. Public page. Group and public page. Wow. Pretty hey, all cool. Facebook. Hey, it's group. Exclusive. Hey, public. Surprise! You didn't expect a second video today. We didn't even know we were going to do one. But that's how much we love you. And today, Jared and I have traveled all the way over to Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and we are in the Atlas Defense Shop. Did I pronounce that right, Absolutely. Joe? Absolutely. Yeah. Atlas Defense. And with me is Joe Mo. He's the proprietor, MF CEO, all the good things at Atlas. Now, today, we're going to talk about silencers or suppressors. Because you guys know that here at Student of the Gun, we are all about the suppressors. And coincidentally, everybody at Atlas Defense is all about the suppressors too. Absolutely. And they like to go super historical on your butt. Atlas, get it? Okay. We've got a suppressor called the Pylum. That's correct. I yeah. pronounced that correctly? That is. All right. Now, I've got my G-Lock. Now, this is my personal G-Lock that I brought over. And it has the Pylum. I'll hand this to Joe. This is his baby. Just tell the student of the gun audience what the deal is with the new 9mm suppressor. Well, we've made 9mm suppressors in the past, but we really wanted to re-intro the new 9mm with, uh, with some gusto. So we worked on it really hard, and we want to intro something with a really, really aggressive price point. Check out the website for our MSRP and the available price now. I can't say it publicly, but check out the website. It's some really good pricing. What's the um, website name? AtlasDefense.com, or you can go to Aklas.co if, if your fingers are tired there. A-K-L-Y-S dot C-O. Uh, so it's all available, all of our lifestyle gear and our other suppressors. But the Pylum is one of our recent introductions. It is a 9 millimeter pistol can with the installed lid. So the lid comes with the can. Not something you have to buy extra like a lot of other cans. Uh, the MSRP is extremely aggressive. It's 7075 Type 3 hard anodized, so it's very durable. It's full auto rated. This is a lifetime pistol can. And something that's very important with cans, especially pistol cans, is pistol cans get dirty, don't they? They do. And eventually you're going to want to take it apart and clean it. Now, there are a lot of cans on the market that have multiple baffles. They have baffle stacks, right? This is, now, is this called a monolithic core? It is. It's a monolithic right. core, short monocore. Uh, I'm a real big proponent of the monocore because of two reasons. One, it's very user friendly. Two, it's quick and easy to manufacture. And we get very good performance and give you a nice user serviceable can that's real easy, low maintenance and ready to go. Well, if you guys have ever wondered, you're like, I wonder what the guts of a silencer look like. They, they kind of look like that. Now, when people buy, I'm gonna hand you something else. When people buy a nine millimeter can, and you say, oh, I'm excited about shooting nine millimeter silence. But then you get into the Different manufacturers make different thread pitches. Absolutely. Some are half by 28. You got the weird European metric stuff. You got the backwards Russian stuff. Then you have carbines, which aren't the same as pistols. How do they accommodate that, or how are you going to accommodate all these different thread pitches? Well, whenever you check out or whenever you order the pylum from us or your local distributor or your local gun shop, you just pick what adapter you need. It's going to be for a Glock, a factory Glock, it'll be 13 and a half. Uh, most aftermarket Glock barrels will be half by 28. Uh, the, the, the can is also subgun capable, so if you have a three lug, we put any of the common three lug adapters on it. Half by 28 hard adapters, half by 36, you have one of those Colt 9mm mm -hmm. carbines. Uh, the 16 the 16 millimeter left hand is also available. So you just pick what adapter you need for the particular gun you have. Now I'm going to throw you one other silencer question and then we're going to let the audience get back to what they, they were doing. But uh, on a pistol, you want a can that's going to give a little bit. Correct. Correct. But on a carbine, you're going to want it stationary or does it matter? Do you change anything out special to put it on a fixed barrel gun versus a pistol? Absolutely. If you shoot a lid capable, uh, which is the Nielsen device, the spring activated It kind of gives a little bit when you're shooting. This gives because whenever the gun fires, the barrel has to tip up and go rearwards. It's moving back about 3 16 quarter inch. It has to do that to be able to unlock and cycle. If the can is on there, the weight, the inertia will keep it from cycling. So we have to give it that give so the can stays in place inertially and the rest of the slide comes back. So that's why this spring-loaded system. That's only for pistols. Whenever you transition over a carbine or fixed barrel, you need to remove that lid because it will batter the can uh, and cause issues with the gun. Uh, increases pressure and the can will just 
plunge by and, itself. And that is something that, that I was educated about that several years ago, and I'm glad that I was, because if you haven't been educated, you might not know, and you spent a lot of money on a can, tax stamps, time, and so forth, you get out there with your 9 millimeter carbine, and you just hammer the crap out of it, and you ruin it. It's going to damage the Not can. a good day. No. Uh, we do have lifetime warranty. It is something. If it looks like there's user error there, we're going to educate the customer. We are going to help them out uh, just so it doesn't happen again. Uh, if it happens again, then we're going to have to look at it. We will warranty it. <laughs> yeah. uh, but this is an example of the fixed adapter. This is one that, that goes to our standard uh, Aklis proprietary Instatach system. Uh, half by 28, again, half by 36. Any flavor of mount you can think of, we have an adapter for it. Mac, Uzi, uh, all the different Macs, all the different Uzis, uh, 16 again, uh, all of them are available. And if you have one of our Hawker subgun suppressors, this is the same adapter that you can use on the pillow. All right. So there you have it, more silencer stuff from Student of the Gun in Aklis Defense. And pay close attention to Student of the Gun Media, Facebook, Instagram, all that, because we just might, hint, hint, have some more pictures and maybe videos of these products. So stay tuned. All right, kids, that's it. Jared, from the other side of the camera, you got anything else for us? Uh, just Michael Hurd says hello to Joe. Hey, guys. And Ed hey, Mike. Smith wants to know if this is live right now. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Ed, Ed Smith, yes, this Woo, is live right It's now. live right now. Look at my watch. It is exactly... 316. Oh, yours is fast. If you yeah. guys have any questions, I'll give, you, I'll give you 10 seconds to ask 10 a seconds question. to ask a question. In now three? we have to wait 10 seconds. Because <laughs> it's on a delay. It's on a delay. Okay, there we go. Anything? Anything? I, I really like the way you have your Glock configured with the, the big dot suppressor mm -hmm. sights, uh, the crimson trace. I mean, you really have this set up for the times when you're going to run statistically higher for an altercation. Always make sure your guns are equipped. For, yeah, for that's ideas. something that we didn't even talk about. But but the G-Lock right here, they say, well, if I've got a can, can I use regular sights? You're allowed. You're an American. You can do whatever you want. But if you want to be able to see over the top of it, you're going to need a little bit taller of a rear sight. And let's say you don't want to change your sights out, you might just want to put a laser, a laser on your gun. So I've got a laser as a redundancy system and these big old fat suppressor height sights as a primary. Are we good? We have a question. It's not really a question. It says CZ Scorpion adapters question mark. Uh, I, right now I'm unaware what the CZ Scorpion thread pitch is. I want to say it's a metric something, uh, but we will Probably release a fixed amount for the CZ Scorpion. Was that Shea Cook? He wants the suppressor for Stewie? No. No? <laughs> Zach, Zach's in the background. Zach's our engineer and developer and really helped bring the, the pylon to what it is. Uh, my operations manager gave Zach a challenge, and I didn't think it was possible, but Zach really stepped up, engineered this for the price point, the really aggressive price point we had, so it's there. So, Zach, CZ Scorpion Threads, you know offhand? Not offhand. We'll do them, but there's a question that Zach can't answer. Write yeah. this down. This is this is one of the rare occasions, and he doesn't know. And Osprey would be nice. <laughs> that's, why, that's why we consult the all-knowing. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, we'll go, all right, we'll go kids. Everybody says thanks. How much do they weigh? Question mark. Just over nine ounces. Uh, it's a very lightweight can for, for its durability. Uh, we're really proud of it. AtlasDefense.com. Hey, when you guys, when I push the finish button on this video, click the button that says live notifications. 